And I wanted something all the way from like what you would warm up in to what you would compete in to what you would put your clothes in that you weren't using. So I'm Morgan Manuel. I'm a junior in the fashion school and I run track and cross country here as well. Um, my mom was actually a fashion merchandising major in college as well. She's actually the kind of like the one who like pushed me and like influenced me into fashion. And then I kind of like originally thought I was like going to be a political science major and I like played around in that area for a little bit right before the beginning of high school and as I like went through the four years of high school trying to like figure out like where I wanted to be, I uh, decided that fashion was like more my calling and like now my mom like has her own store too so we kind of collaborate a lot of times with like me knowing the construction and like what's good and what fabrics are good and then her knowing like what's trendy and like what should be sold in her store so it's like really fun so she was definitely like my influence I guess for fashion and like being involved with it. I'm not gonna be a BFA I'm actually gonna be a BA. Athletic wear I've found it isn't so much about knowing how to sew it so I've kind of like stepped back from that um, not like so much of knowing how to sew it but like understanding the techniques of how um, so that's why I personally like to research more because that's what I need more so I'm doing the BA program so the Bachelor of Arts program um, and I'm doing that because I want to focus more on like technical packs flats understanding colors what's trendy things like that that are important towards athletic wear not so much of the I need to sew this so it's so perfect kind of thing because that's just not going to be as beneficial towards my future career. Right? That's why I chose not to go that direction and also based on my schedule wise, like I'm in season all year long with cross country and track and field so BFA is actually not even plausible for me in any way. So that's kind of another reason why I went the other direction because I just, I've talked to other past like people who have been involved in a sport and they're like you can't do both I guess kind of thing and you got to like sacrifice one or the other. So. Obviously, like I, since athletic wear is more of like a technical idea than it is like a sewing idea, I went towards BA so that I could still live like the fashion life and the athlete life at the same time. So that's kind of why I made that decision. The fashion school is good. I like it a lot. It's a really easy place to like go to to like kind of like unwind. It's really easy to stay focused there, which I really like. A lot of times when I'm like working in my apartment or something or doing something like that, it's a little easier for me to like get sidetracked. Whereas when I'm there, I'm like a lot more focused because the environment's really like positive and like kind of moving you forward and pushing you forward to like keep doing well. Um, and they have a lot of really great resources like the uh, textile lab. I use laser cutting for almost every project. Um, so it's perfect for that. And then location wise, it's awesome because it's easy for me to go get food and take a break or like um, get from there to my apartment really fast. So it's all like really like convenient as well as like really good resources and stuff like that. The program is good. I think there's some improvements that could be made. There's a lot of times where things could be like, they're either like too expensive or they're not offered or they're just things that like, I wish I had more access to that I know like other schools. But other than that, like, I mean, it's been a really positive experience, but like for me personally, like athletic where I wish there was like a shoe program where I could learn about shoes where I know like FIT like offers that and stuff like that. But um, I also wanted to be like an athlete and here. So it's kind of why I had to like give up a few things to like also do both, so. My project was an athletic wear specific for professional runners. So I based it off of South African runners and then uh, went from there and kind of just like figured out different finishings and like different technical ways to make it more more susceptible for the runner and better for them to wear and I aimed towards things that were not only going to fit well but also feel good while you were wearing them um, and I wanted something all the way from like what you would warm up in to what you would compete in to what you would put your clothes in that you weren't using so it's kind of just a big mixture of like based off of the professional runner and like the colors they would wear for South Africa but also the function that they need. For that project I basically started with looking at runners from that area and like what they like to wear I guess and kind of looking at the professional runner and like what they prefer, what's most commonly seen from a professional runner. And then I kind of used past information that I found from, I went to the Olympic trials to watch this past summer and Nike had placed up this giant like dome booth but it was really cool. 
and they had all the Olympic uniforms in it. So you could go up and like actually touch the uniform. And what they did was they used like different techniques to create a garment that's so lightweight that there's no extra bulk. So instead of having to fold over edges and have all that extra bulk with like just like that extra seam allowance and then the cover stitching and like things like that added to the top of it to add so much bulk. They used this thing um, where they would place a similar piece of fabric within on the inside to make it like lay flatter and be a lot lighter but also still have a finishing to it. So I did that as well with mine. So I kind of was looking at not only like what professional runners like but what like companies that provide for prof professional runners are doing. So I kind of took both of those and like researched as much as I possibly could. A lot of the like garment pieces was like inspired from like a Nike pair of spandex or, or like an Under Armour pair of spandex, like things like that. And then the leggings were done with Pattern Magic, which is a, I believe it's a Chinese technique or a Japanese technique that some woman made up like a bunch of different things that add 3D elements to garments. So I did that with the leggings and like gave them this like 3D like kind of like gathering on the sides by making a circle pattern instead of making a straight leg pattern like a normal pair of leggings. So that's how I kind of added a little bit of like more of that athleisure fashion element to not only this like super professional runner elite outfit, but just gave it that little extra fun. And like I put all of that together and it turned out into this great like warm up look with as well as like a great like running wear like racing, like I'm gonna go out and run the best marathon of my life, like outfit, but also something, okay, I can warm up with this the hour before. So it was like a mixture of both with a lot of different techniques. I enjoy the sewing because it's, it makes sense to me. Sewing with knits is really easy for me. Like once I have the fit right, I can pretty much put it together super fast. So I really enjoy the sewing, but the research is more the most fun for me because I like looking at like different companies to see what they're all doing because each person has something a little bit different. Like some company does all seamless, some companies do this special like edging with all this stitch witchery and stuff like that. Some companies do 100% sustainable and some companies are doing this. So it's like all so different, like the research is really what gets me excited to make my own thing. Because the more I read into like other companies, the more I'm like, wow, I really want to try that, that, and that. And then I try to narrow it down to one and then say, well, all right, next time I'll do that one. So um, I'm kind of just like learning different techniques and moving forward. That project, I um, we started it last semester, um, so my first semester of studio, which is where we kind of worked with a concept. We started with like a basic concept, so um, our teachers were like, we want it to be no waste. So no waste be, would be considered something that only wastes between two, per, two to five percent of like the fabric that you would normally purchase, instead of the fifteen to twenty percent that regular like industries waste every single time they buy fabric. So we aimed it towards that, and I wanted to do athletic wear, which was definitely a difficult task. I didn't have a lot of support at first on it. Like a lot of my teachers were like, ooh, like I don't know if that's a good idea. It might be too difficult to like make that happen. And I was just like, no, I, like, I really want to try it, like try it for the challenge. And we also based it off of like an orchid theme. So I kind of used the orchid to like bring not only this awesome athletic wear piece that's super sustainable and really functional, but make it also like that cute side with like the athleisure side where it has like cute flowers and stuff. So I did that too. And so I pulled that all together and created like a super sustainable piece. And it was three pieces total for the whole garment. Um, it was a cropped top, like running shirt, a sports bra and a pair of leggings. And basically I tried to like, not only like make them super sustainable, have them be zero waste, but also add like, there was a pocket in the back of the leggings for like a phone. And there was a pocket in the side of the sports bra for like your keys if you're an avid runner and you need to carry them for a long period of time and just different stuff like that. And I added like mesh um, breathability, did laser cutting in that as well. Just like different things that can like add to the design to make it a little bit not only like cuter for someone who's like more for the athleisure side, but also like super functional for someone who is like going out for like a long run or something like that. Athleisure isn't like so much my focus. I've definitely used like elements from like athleisure and things like that to like kind of incorporate into mine to make things not only like wearable and functional for an athlete, but also really cute too at the same time. Whereas like someone who maybe isn't like me who runs every day could also wear like if they went to yoga and like wanted to go out with brunch with friends after it or something like that. So I've definitely used the influences from athleisure and how it has like really changed like the fashion world and brought it into my designs, but also made everything super functional. So like someone who runs every day or someone who like lives and like that's their career can also wear it and be like successful in that way as well. So it kind of has a mixture of both. 
So I didn't want to focus in one direction or the other. I wanted to kind of keep like a healthy balance between the two. Athletic wear is like my main focus, but sustainability and fashion is actually my minor. So I'm doing both at the same time, but I'm focusing towards like biodegradable fabrics, reusable fabrics, recyclables, upcycling, and like no waste, kind of things like that. And that's been really big in athletic wear right now. Like companies like Puma, Adidas, Under Armour even a little bit, Nike a little bit, have really pushed towards sustainability, mostly from like Adidas would be the biggest one right now. So I'm kind of focusing that direction so that it's easier for me to like have an understanding of not only what they're doing, but like get an idea of like what's actually good for the earth since like eco-friendly things are definitely becoming a big thing right now.